Welcome to the Raising Smart Kids podcast. I'm your host, Yang Pratt, and each week we'll explore ways in which the arts can help you raise a smarter kid. I'll be sharing ways the arts can propel your child's learning and interviewing top artists, educators, and entrepreneurs. These guests will share why the arts are so very important to your child, along with actionable ideas you can easily implement into your already busy schedule. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast here on iTunes and share us with a friend. For extra tips on raising smart kids, head on over to artsmartparenting.com and click on the live tab. Well, happy middle of November, Art Smart Parents. It is so hard to believe that Thanksgiving and Christmas are just around the corner. In a future episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking specifically about celebrating with your kids and using the arts to create beautiful things for Thanksgiving and things you might want to give a try while you have a longer weekend with your kids. Well, this weekend, there are two holidays that are happening that are both very near and dear to my heart, and maybe they are to you as well. Today happens to be Veterans Day, the 11th of November in 2016. Now, regardless of whether you're pro or con against armed forces, I think we can all agree that our country would not be where it is today without the sacrifices of the selfless men and women who go into service for our country. My father retired from the Army, and he is active in our local VFW hall, Veterans of Foreign Wars chapter here in town. And I know many of these men and women, and their integrity and their selflessness really speaks volumes about who they are, what they choose to do with their lives, and how they choose to live their lives. And on Sunday, another holiday, I guess a world holiday that's happening, is World Kindness Day. Now, it's an unofficial holiday that was started back in 1998 by the World Kindness Movement, which really encouraged different kindness organizations to celebrate around the world. Now, kindness is considered to be a virtue virtue and valued by most societies and religions as an important quality. What about you? How kind have you been lately? Have you been kind to yourself? Have you been kind to your body? Have you been kind to your kids and those around you? World Kindness Day for me is a time to reflect, much like Thanksgiving, on kindness and what that means to me and my family and how we act upon those feelings. Now, over at timeanddate.com, it talks a little bit more about World Kindness Day, which is Sunday, November 13th in the year 2016. A couple of things they've listed on ways that you can celebrate are to be kind and do random acts of kindness, smile at strangers, and do kind things for them. And kindness should not be reserved just for our fellow human beings. Showing kindness to animals and the environment is important as well. And if there are children in your life, which I know there are as you're listening to this podcast, teach them what kindness means and to practice it daily. So we have, on one hand, Veterans Day, and we have World Kindness Day. And my challenge for you Art Smart Parents, is to combine the two this weekend. Find a local serviceman or woman, whether active or past active, and do something kind for them. Show them kindness and to repay them for their years of service to this country. And using the arts to do this is a great opportunity for you to show your kids that kindness can be given in many ways. Maybe your kiddos are little and they are using crayons or colored pencils and just learning to make shapes and put colors together. Maybe you give them some paper or some canvas on which to draw or paint and then take that work of art to a veteran or even any one of your choosing to show kindness and to really brighten someone's day. Maybe your kids are a little older and they, are really, they really love writing. Maybe writing a poem or a story and, give, and gifting it to somebody, whether at Christmas or a veteran in your neighborhood, a family member. Having them share their art with others is going to do so much to bolster their self-esteem. 
they'll see that you value what they're doing, what they're creating, and see that as an important contribution to the world at large. There's really no greater gift than we, we can give to our kids than the ability to have confidence and go forth confidently in the world. And the way we're able to do that, I personally love to use the arts as my model or my, my vehicle, if you will, to really teach my kids a skill and teach them the importance of sharing their skill with those around them. We often will take our dancers and perform at various community events and we talk about serving our community because part of our moral responsibility as a business is to serve the community which gives us so many things in return. So this weekend, gather up some supplies, head outside if it hasn't snowed in your backyard yet or maybe even if it has, create some beautiful works of art with your kids and model for them kindness by gifting art to friends, neighbors, or of course, veterans that have served our country so bravely. I would absolutely love to see all of your creations. You can share them with me over at blog.artsmartparenting.com and write in the comments of this week's show notes. I would love to see what you're up to and how you've spread kindness and what that word and what that means to you and your family. All right, my friends, go out there, brighten someone's day, and celebrate your kids and the arts. Catch you next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Raising Smart Kids podcast. If you're enjoying this podcast, please share us with a friend and head on over to iTunes and leave us a review there and let us know you're enjoying the show. If you're looking for more tips on raising smart kids, head to Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my first book, Raising a Superhero, How to Unleash Your Child's Eight Superpowers and Propel Learning Through the Arts. Thanks for allowing me to be your guide on this parenting adventure, and I look forward to catching you next time.